Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, dog, cats, and squirrels, or anybody who might want to listen to an old man like me. Hello, world. Hello, money. Hola, dinero. Hola, mundo. Good afternoon. Well, guys, it's another day and another episode. I'm excited. Are you excited? I know each and every one of you ready to go to California because California is where it's going to be this weekend. Boy, action packed. There's going to be a lot of things to do out in California. We're going to get to that. But, uh, you know, guys, uh, before I start my show, man, I always have to shout out to all my doggone veterans, man. And I done find out we got a lot of Colorado fans, these veterans, too. Hello, world. Shout out to you guys as well. And thank you for your service. So we want to thank all those guys overseas right now, man, in those foxholes and war zones, dodging IED, dodging bullets. And, you know, they over here, uh, us over here as fans and veterans, we want to thank those guys over there, man. And let's focus our attention on there and just thank them for the service. And we just go out and shout out on the media all over the place, man. Thank you, veterans, for your service and hurry home. Okay, so that's what we do, man. Every day, uh, every day I wake up and God put breath in my body, I want to shout out to my doggone veterans, man. They mean the world to me. And uh, we're going to get them all to football games so they can sit out there with us, man, and cheer. And we sit over there with them. And uh, we thank them for their service. And you know my favorite line. Ladies and gentlemen, put your attention in the south end zone. And that's where all them... Veterans gonna be at down there, man. Cheering Colorado Buffaloes on, man, and Harlan Coach Prime. And we had a big old banner full of veterans, man. Uh, all those that's uh, and I got oh, I got a GoFundMe program that just got started. I'll be talking about that a couple of days in. But right now it's all vacation time. It's all football time. But I will get back to that next week. But man, they be hollering that end zone. Focus your attention on that south end zone. And they said, veterans, thank you for your service. And welcome home. And we appreciate everything you've done for yourself and your family and everything you've done for this country. Thank you, veterans. And we cheering and hollering, man, because somebody really care about us, man. That's going to be Colorado, man. We're going to be the first to show people and all these veterans, man, because I'm going to pack these stadiums, man. I'm going to pack these stadiums, okay? So shout out to all our veterans, all our Colorado fans, these veterans. Hey, man, you know you got my back. I can't wait to meet you guys. You're going to see me with my hat. Vietnam veterans for Coach Prime. If you see me out there, man, find me. You know, I was in Boulder. I couldn't find nobody. I did find two people in Boulder, though. I found um, um, Stephen Colbert, you know, which I thought was uh, should do his quarterback coach. I found out I got corrected that he's an elite quarterback coach. He recruit dogs. <laughs> Let me say that again. Mr. Colbert recruit dogs. Man, he's an elite quarterback coach, man, and played quarterback himself. I seen one of the college he played for was Lamar. Hey, shout out to you, Mr. Colbert. I met Mr. Colbert at the gas station. He was the first person I met in the morning before I even met Mr. Pollock. I didn't meet Mr. Pollock, Coach Pollock till later that evening in Boulder, down in um, Pearl Street at the Avanti or something like that. But I called um, uh, Coach Colbert and uh, Shadur at the gas station. I dapped up Shadur because he was on the phone. He was real busy, so I had to respect that. But uh, guess who was available, baby? He wasn't on no phone. <laughs> What's up, Mr. Colbert? And so we took pictures with Mr. Colbert again. So he was my first primetime family member, baby. Hello, world. Hello, buddy. Then I caught Coach Pollock, man. He was just walking. Nobody even knew who he was, guys. See, that's what I'm telling you about the Boulder culture. You got so many Colorado fans around the country. We know everything about Boulder. That's like... I lived there when I got there, man. It was, it was crazy. I tell you, I get excited, man. I got a lot of things about Boulder culture that I'm going to be sharing. Because culture means a lot to me, man. Because when I was a Florida State fan, before I came over with Prime, man, it was all about the culture, man. Yeah, you know, I, I explain all that later. Woo -wee. All right, so, guys, this is what I want to do. I got a lot of questions I want to ask you guys. But before I do that, we got to go to this. Now, a lot of my Colorado fans, I know, got a lot of kids. So if you're going to California, I know you guys are playing some type of vacation because you can't go to California. You do yourself a disservice. You're just going to the game. Guys, spend a couple of days out there and go into the entertainment capital of the world because they got a lot of things. And what I want to share is the families that have these kids. Because, see, I had a girlfriend when I was living in California, and she had three kids. So that's how I learned about all these places because we were taking them everywhere. Man, California got a lot of entertainment. <laughs> okay, so let me start with that. Guys, first of all, we got the Universal Studios in Hollywood. I know probably you done heard a lot about that. So I move on. Knott's Berry Farm, that's one of your favorite places for kids. Kids love Knott's Berry Farm. All right, and it's located in Buena Park, California. And it features a variety of roller coasters. You know, kids love that. Family rides, live entertainment, and a water park called Knott's Soap City. 
Yeah, baby. Knox Zone City. So bring the swim trunks. Make sure the kids have it. Oh, they're going to love it. They're going to love it. All right. Anyway, let me keep it moving. Legoland, California. Guys, I, when I was living in Oceanside, I remember when they built Legoland. I used to pass Oceanside going to SeaWorld to work every day. Right? I was working at SeaWorld. I'm going to get to that, too. And I seen when they were building Legoland. Legoland is beautiful, man. It got everything. Let me see what Legoland got. Okay, it's situated in Carlsbad. And uh, re it's a resort. It's a family-friendly destination featuring Lego uh, themed rides, shows, and interactive attractions. It also includes a water park, sea life aquarium, and a themed hotel. Now, let me get to the fun part. SeaWorld, baby. I worked at SeaWorld, man. I was living in Mexico, and I come out of Mexico every day to a SeaWorld. Okay, but what happened was I moved from uh, Oceanside, and uh, my daughter I had to finish high school there. And so I moved to uh, Mexico, and I was coming back and forth to Mexico every day to uh, Oceanside, San Diego, uh, SeaWorld. And uh, I was in guest relations. <laughs> and so anyway... You want to come to SeaWorld, man. We're talking about whales, marine life, water life, uh, shows. Man, they have everything there. You know I'm going to be precious about that one because I work there. I love some SeaWorld, baby. SeaWorld is out here. It's easy. Man, they got the Clydesdales there, man. Uh, if you drink and you like beer, man, you got fresh beer. Come right out of the distillery right there at Bush Garden. I mean, not Bush Garden, uh, SeaWorld. Bush Garden's in Tampa. They, they, they got a beer factory over there, too. All right, so let me keep it moving, guys. I get excited. All right, so the next one is going to be Belmont. Oh, Six Flags, Six Flags. Six Flags, oh, man. That's over Magic Mountain in Valencia. Listen to this, man. Now, Six Flags is another. It's a park located in Valencia Park, California. Six Flags Magic Mountain is known for its thrilling roller coasters and rides as well. It offers a variety of attractions for all ages. Then we have Belmont Park. I'm going to keep it moving, guys. Uh, Castle Park and Gilroy Gardens. But there's two I really like is uh, Six Flags in Disneyland. I stayed in um, in uh, Anaheim, and I lived right across the street from Disneyland. So, man, it was fun. I walked over there all the time, man. It was, it was, you'll love it. That would be a great place for your kids, okay? So I wanted to get that out of the way, man. And tomorrow I want to go back and touch on these beaches. I got three or four more beaches I want to add to. I forgot to mention on the other one. And we're going to have a good time with that. Okay, so we got that out of the way. Colorado, I want to talk about my Colorado Buffalo. I got a lot of questions for you guys. And it goes with this one right here, man. I need answers. I need a lot of answers. Matter of fact, they're going to be my title tonight. Colorado Buffaloes, I have a lot of questions. I need answers immediately. Okay, the first, oh, and I want to do congratulations. I'm sorry. Let me start out with my congratulations right fast. Um, I want to congratulate uh, linebacker freshman Morgan Pearson. He's the academic student of the week, baby. Yes, sir. Academic student of the week. See, life is uh, more than football, baby. So if this man never make it to the pros, and I pray he do, I pray everybody on Colorado can make it to the pros. As far as I'm concerned, all of them pro players. But in the event none of them don't make it, Coach Prime definitely setting these guys up for success to be executives somewhere out there in their professional world, baby. Yeah, so Morgan Pearson, thank you, man. We we really appreciate you. All our Colorado fans, uh, they're probably already to uh, congratulate you because I'm a little late coming with everything. But anyway, man, congratulations for Academic Student of the Week. And, man, I got to pray, thank God, no one locker was cleaned out because Coach Prime said if anybody came back late, you could best believe you wouldn't have nothing in your locker. And I probably would have meant your future was over. Whew. Man, I was sweating. I was biting my tongue because I love everybody over there, man. I want to see nobody lose their job. <laughs> man, if you'd have been late, bro, you'd have been uh, with an empty locker. So thank you, Jesus, that nobody came back later now. We can keep it moving, baby. You're going to be on that plane. That's right. You're coming to the plane on the California, baby. Thank you, Jesus. Nobody was late. Woo! All right, we got that out of the way too, man. All right, so let's go to the keys to victory, man. Oh, no, no, no. I got to finish all my questions. I got to finish all my questions. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. My question was, will we beat, will we beat UCLA? I said yes. I said we'll beat UCLA 43-38. You can drop down in the comments what you think. All right. What player will have a fantastic turnout? I think Xavier Weaver is going to have a fantastic turnout. I think it's time for that young man to have a fantastic turnout. We're talking about a pro player for the future. And he need to shine in UCLA, boy, because every scout and their mama going to be at this game. You could believe that. Everybody going to be at this game. Oh, guys, don't leave your binoculars now. Remember, that's why I keep them around my neck so I can keep you remembering. Please bring your binoculars because you can only see so much with your eyes and peripherals. Bring these. Please bring your binoculars. You're going to be entertained. All right? Go, let me get back to that. 
Okay, so which running back would have the most rushing yards? I said Hankerson. I think Hankerson going to have the, uh, the most yards. I think Hankerson. You can take, comment down below what you think. Uh, which receiver had the most receiving yards? I said Jimmy Horn. Uh, if you disagree or uh, you beg to differ, you can always co comment down below. Which player would lead the team in tackles? Well, well Shiloh been leading two or three games, I think, consistently. So I'm going to stick with Shiloh Sanders, all right? uh, the safety for Colorado. And uh, last but not least, like, who would get an interception? Well, I truly think anybody get in seven because my boy Trevor Woods got that boy he keep his nose around that ball. I mean, he be sniffing that ball, man. I be thinking sometimes that ball must have uh, pheromones, like a girl's pheromones perfume, because this guy have a nose for that football in that end zone, man. <laughs> man, I like Trevor Woods, man. He hit you too, boy. He bust you up. He remind me of John Lynch. Anybody remember John Lynch, man? Man, for the Buccaneers, he's a Hall of Famer. When he hits you, boy, you're going to know it. Your, your liver going to say, ouch. Your kidney going to say, ooh. <laughs> I don't know what your real kidney is going to say. Because John Lynch was all here. That's what Trevor Woods might me up. Okay, so anyway, guys, that's it for me this evening. You can uh, get back with me down with the comments below. But before I go, I got to say the keys to victory. Now, my keys to victory is we got to minimize penalties, man. We can't have the penalties we had with that Stanford game. We really, truly can't, man. We're going to minimize those penalties. You can believe Coach Prime done already uh, done squared that away. Uh, uh, um, oh, we got to prevent Slant City, man. You know, they was killing us two or three games. Uh, it was a team just taking few advantage of us on that slant, man. And it was like, it was nothing we can do. It was like our feet was in cement when somebody ran that slant. We were standing still just watching these people pass by with a slant. And they turned a two-yard catch into 34 yards. Come on, man. So, yeah, we, I'm pretty sure we done worked on that as well. And last but not least, guys, the defense. Man, we got to wrap up, man. We, Boy, that was, you know, I don't talk bad about my team, but then when I'm looking at it, it was piss poor tackling. Piss poor tackling, man. I'm serious. That was pathetic. And uh, I, I just had to eat it up. But you know what? I know Coach Prime, he done cleaned all that up. You can believe he done cleaned all that up. UCLA, I can tell you this, man. We know you're a good team, and uh, we're not taking you for granted. And you can believe we're not coming in there overconfident either. But we are coming over there to dominate, and we are going to come to kick your butt. We definitely coming to do that. So stand by. So, guys, listen, I'll be seeing you guys tomorrow to ramble enough. I'm jacked out of my mind from front to back. What about you? Because, man, I know it's going to be a great time in California, man. And as I told you guys, please, man, if you can find two or three days to extend out there in California, please do it, man. You do yourself a disservice if you come out to California just for a football game. Man, we got too much things out there in California, San Diego, Carlsbad, and all the surrounding areas for you to just come out there for a football game and don't enjoy the rest of what California has to offer. Because California is definitely a place to have a good time. All right, so that's enough for me tonight, guys. I think I done said enough of mouthful, and I'm, I'm probably rambling. I digress. I know you're probably tired of me. But anyway, before I go, you know, I always say to the world, you might be one person. But to that one person, you just might be their world. Hello, world. And I won't see each and every one of you at the top. I'm going to see each and every one of you over the top. Good night. God bless each and every one of you.